Hi guys, James here from Wiggle. Hope you're all good. Today we're going to be having a closer look at the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 version 11. So first things first, you're probably going to be looking at this and going, Oh, is there actually anything different from the version 10? And we do have some subtle changes that we're gonna have a look at first, so let's dive in. So firstly, when you look at the upper, you can see that it keeps that fly knit material going, which I was a really big fan of because it was really breathable and quite flexible and gave you that really snug fit when you were running in it. But when you look back further on the shoe, you can see that the heel cup that's made out of this firmer sort of almost neoprene material wraps around further in front of the shoe, which is gonna give you that more locked in heel and should really help with any heel slip that you may have had in the previous model. I can't really see this sacrificing any comfort at all and I think that's a really nice touch. You can also actually see that the New Balance N branding is actually made out of this sort of TPU material and wrapped in and out of the laces here. The material is actually quite thick and you can see it's raised quite a lot from the shoe face itself. And what that's actually gonna do, it's gonna act as a mid cage to the shoe. And you can actually really feel that when you push down on the middle of the shoe. And what that's actually going to do is it's going to give you more lateral support and going to give you a more stable, supportive run. So as to updates to the shoe, that is really about it. But let's have a look at the rest of the features anyway. So the 1080, as it always has been, is a neutral running shoe. So it's going to be good for those runners with a neutral running gait. And it's also got a 30 millimeter stack height on that Fresh Foam X, which we'll have a talk about in a bit with an eight millimeter drop. As with most New Balance shoes, it fits really true to size, and that also counts for the width in the shoe as well, although they will be releasing wider models of this if you have a really wide forefoot. So the 1080 is really designed for those neutral road runners out there after a really comfortable, plush, mid to long distance road shoe. As you've probably seen already, the Fresh Foam X midsoles have seen some really positive reviews and it's really easy to understand why. It's one of those really dynamic midsoles that gives you that really soft, plush comfort that you want on those long distance road runs, but it's not one that feels really sloppy that eats up all your energy either. It's actually gonna give you a really responsive energy return too. It really feels exactly how you want a midsole to feel, so it gives you that soft strike, but then it also gives you that really springy return. It's not going to be one of those shoes that gives you the ultimate energy return, but it's going to be a really good choice for a long distance, plush, comfortable road shoe. So now let's have a look at the insole that comes with the shoe. And it actually comes with an Ortholite foam insole with a little bit of supportive shaping there, which is actually quite a nice touch compared to a lot of the shoes out there. But if for one reason or another, you need to swap that out for a custom footbed, then that's going to be really easy to change over as well. So moving to the outsole of the V11, we can see that this basically looks identical to what we saw in the V10, but that's definitely not a bad thing as that was a really good performing sole. You can see that these individual rubber pads are sat individually with a small gap on the 1080 foam midsole. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the midsole to flex really naturally, which I really like. And you can see this by even flexing with your hands that this allows for a really natural progressive flex. I think this is actually one of the reasons why this shoe feels so good on foot. You can also see how the rubber is strategically placed on the wear points to keep the weight down where it's not needed. So what do you think to the new Fresh Foam 1080 version 11? Although the silhouette and design keeps pretty similar to the V10, I do like the new updates that they have incorporated. What do you think to them? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, then consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.